Is it against the law to burn down your own house? I don't know. I think you need a permit. Next thing I know, I'm walking fast towards him, and I don't know what I'm gonna do, but the emotions are right there in my chest, fist, pressing right there. Pressing. I can feel the energy. Just two of the lines from the 2017 Pulitzer Prize winning play, Sweat. Pittsburgh Public Theater is presenting the story of nine friends who lived, worked, and dreamed together at a Pennsylvania until changes at the mill start driving them apart. It's a gritty, moving story told on stage now through December 9th. Here with more on the promo. Pittsburgh premiere is director Justin Ameka. Good morning. So let's talk a little bit about um, the storyline of this. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's actually funny to me that this is the P Pittsburgh premiere because it feels so Pittsburgh. Yes, it is. It's, it, it's a story right now that, that connects with a lot of American communities, you know. Uh, and it, the story really kind of has it, its thumb on the pulse of, of, of what's happening in, in America, you know. Uh, Lynn Nottage is really an expert playwright in and going to a very specific moment in, in history and time and shining a light on voices that aren't often, often heard. And so that's really what she does with this play, Sweat, in terms of I exposing the American experience. So it's, uh, it was written in 2016, mm -hmm. but takes place in 2000 in Reading, Pennsylvania. Yes. And so what happens to these workers um, mm -hmm. through the course of the play? So the play is set really in, in 2000 and in 2008, and it's a bit of a, a memory play, you know. And it starts off with just two young men on stage, a young white man with a, with a swastika tattooed to his face and a young African-American man on stage. And then we gather that they were once best friends, and we gather that they are just getting out of jail. And that's all we know. And then the, the, the play launches us back into 2008 and really explores how these young men were kind of got to the place where they are. And then we, we learn that it's actually their families that, that were both working at a steel mill that got shut down, you know, that causes the turmoil in this community and upends everyone's life. So we're talking about race issues, social issues, a, a lot of different things are tackled in this. Yes, yes. And that's what I also love about Lynn Nottage's writing. Who's, she's a, a two-time Pulitzer Prize winning author, so it's really an extraordinary, uh, a, a great written play. Um, but she really knows how to tackle issues, but without it feeling heavy-handed. It's all wrapped up in relationships and strong characters. So it seems like a lot of the clips, at least that we're showing, seem to take place in what looks like a bar. Mm -hmm. Is that where the whole show takes place? Yeah, much of the play is set in a bar just right outside of this steel uh, factory, steel mill that's being shut down. So we get to really explore the lives of these steel workers in the bar, you know, where everyone hangs out. So you get them to be a little bit more, uh, you know, free in expressing their thoughts, their emotions in that regard. Very much like Cheers, like this is the place you go where yeah, you meet it is your a friends bit, and can relax. It is a bit like that, yes. And so this is your first time uh, at Pittsburgh Public Theater. Correct. And correct. you're actually working with some Pittsburgh folks there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, you know, one, it's, it's really exciting to be here at Pittsburgh Public Theater as artistic director Mar Mariah Kaminsky starts her, her tenure here. Um, and so it's an honor to be a part of her first season and to have artists, you know, four, five of the artists, five of the nine are from, Cle uh, are from Pittsburgh and others come from New York, one from Cleveland. So it's a really, you know, important uh, mix of artists. I really want to discuss the discussion that takes place after each uh, performance. Yes. Tell us a little, a little bit about that and why it's so important to do yeah. it. Well, I mean, the play deals with so many important topics, you know, and it stirs up so much emotion in the audience that, you know, the theater thought it was just going to be really important to allow a space for the audience to really be able to process some of this stuff, you right. know, and to be able to hear each other's voices, you know, to sit in a, in a dark theater, you don't really get to look around necessarily and hear the voices around you, you know, so we really thought it was important to allow the audience that opportunity to, to see and hear each other. And decompress a little bit. With such heavy stuff, I think it's good to, like, talk about it that's after. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Very nice. Thank you so much for joining us Thank this you morning. so much. We appreciate it. Again, <laughs> the Pittsburgh Public Theater presents Sweat on stage now at the O'Reilly Theater through December 9th for showtimes. And tickets, you can call the box office or go online. You'll find the link at kdka.com slash PTL.